Let's go live to our reporter, Cathy Moshe-Slana, who's outside the South Gauteng High Court for us in this related case this morning. Morning, uh, Cathy. Just give us a sense of what allegations Radovan Kretschu has made about his treatment in custody since being taken in on Friday. Well, morning, Joanne. Firstly, he's accused of uh, police of assaulting him while he was taken into custody and torturing him uh, in a way of getting information out of him, Joanne. And over the weekend, yesterday, we saw his lawyers bring an urgent application before this court asking that he be hospitalized. They say that he sustained injuries from this uh, alleged assault that has taken place behind bars. Now, this is something that continued until the very early hours of this morning. It ended at around 11 a.m. And right now, uh, Judge Munama is going to be uh, delivering his judgment at around 11, 11.30 this morning. We're expecting it to come through. And basically, his lawyers, there, there were three uh, people that were being presented uh, in this case in the early hours of this morning. It was Radovan Crater's uh, personal uh, doctor. It was a state doctor. And it was the police. Now, his doctor argues that if he's not taken to hospital, he may face renal failure failure. Uh, but the state doctor believes that it's something that can be treated while he is still in custody. There have seemingly been attempts on Kretscher's life before. Could he be afraid that a hit on him might be easier to carry out uh, in, a, in a prison rather than a hospital? Well, Joanne, when we look at the kind of security uh, that is being put uh, in this case, particularly where uh, names are concerned, I mean, even his doctor uh, can't be named for security reasons. Police wouldn't disclose the location where he was being held also for security reasons. And so uh, at this stage, it's, it's unclear what exactly um, will happen uh, should he be transferred uh, to a private hospital. Of course, it is, it is also a case that... Uh, uh, the state will be bringing forth before the court because this is something that they themselves feel is a priority which is now why they are applying to have uh, the case in Palm Ridge to be heard in camera and so you know it's it's one of the things that they're gonna have to try uh, and balance out as these court pr proceedings get underway. Kathy Mutlisana thanks very much for that update from outside the South Gauteng High Court. News that moves. ENCA.com